Can I help you? I don't know. Just browsing? Yeah. We generally pay for things, mister, before we start drinking them. Yeah. You'd be straying too far now. Yeah. Uh, oh. Okay, buddy, I think you're out of here. Forty. Do you have any money? I don't know. Come on. Uh oh. Hey, nobody's gonna uh -huh. hurt you. Come on. I'm Come gonna on be, over I'm here. Gonna be trapped. Hey! Who's gonna trap you? I'm gonna be held hostage in Lily's no, blood. No, no, no hostage situation. Uh, hey, hey, uh, get your money. hands off him. Get your hands off him. What, you can't see that the guy doesn't have a problem? He's huh? eating my food. Oh, he's eating your food. Well, how much do I owe you here? Well, I'm I'm about two dollars and seventy-five cents on the cover. It. That's a well, big deal. Here's five dollars. You keep the change. The sensitive and endearing story of Rain Man for United Artists brings two of Hollywood's most sought-after actors together with one of the most successful director-producer teams. And for the executive producers John Peters and Peter Gruber, the result is... For us, this film has all the incidences of commercial success, the two big stars, the giant director, a story that's emotionally powerful, one that, that audiences will be pulled to from their own, their own experience. At the same time, you combine art with it, the best of the talent, handled in the best creative atmosphere. I think there is that combination, that synergism between show and business that makes it work. The heart of the film was about, it was amazing because he had not had the opportunity to meet the people whose lives were mostly touched by this illness as we had met Tom and I. And before even knowing what Tom and I knew, he seemed to instinctively understand the nature of the material. It's just a wonderfully uh, ironic movie, Rain Man. Uh, and I mean, Levinson has a wonderful sense of irony in all of his movies, and it's just, you know, blends in beautifully. With Sit there with it, and you cut it together, and there's an image that you had in your head. It is the fulfillment of that that I find, like, fascinating. That's, that's the most exciting thing, that if you can sit back at some point and look and see something on film that is, is like what you had in your head, or even better than what would happen because things will evolve, that's real exciting. The director-producer team of Barry Levinson and Mark Johnson were excited by both the challenge and the message the story of Rain Man has to offer. The movie is, it's about, the movie is about Charlie, it's not about Raymond. Because Charlie's the one who changes, and quite frankly, that's why we go to the movies. We don't go to, s to see two people remain the same for, from the beginning to the end. We want to see somebody's, somebody's capacity to either better themselves or, in some cases, to lower themselves. And in this case, it's great. I, th I think you know, within, within all of us, we, have, we want what, uh, what Charlie ends up achieving. learns to live life again through his brother, Raymond, who is autistic. And really, uh, Charlie is an emotional autistic uh, is kind of the way we, we looked at him. And I was so moved by the movie that I felt that people would also be. Or, and if they're not, you're proud of the work, you know? So sometimes it's not so important the commercial success as your own personal feeling about what, you're, what you've done. What I find remarkable about this movie is that what we wanted to do, we seem to, we think we've accomplished. And that was that before we made the film, we met these people and were affected by them in similar ways. We each, 
each of us felt that if we gave these people enough love, if we conversed with them, if, because we liked them, if we hugged them, if we kissed them, that somehow it would be like a magic wand and they would be released from it. So we all agreed, wouldn't it be wonderful if the, we could get that into the film, if the audience would somehow feel that same way.